Okay, uh, let, let's see how long this takes. So, for those who don't know, I'm an Arizona Coyotes fan. Am I connected to, like, the other Coyotes fans uh, that, like, live in Arizona? Because, of course, I don't live in Arizona. Am I connected to them like I am, you know, Flyers fans? No. Um, I do know a small amount of Arizona Coyotes fans. They're very nice people. Very good guys. I mean, they taught me some stuff about Arizona. And they've also taught me some stuff about the situation that's going on right now. It's not over till it's over. Uh, I'm going to say that right here, right now, because um, there has been a lot of talk of that, um, saying that you're just that they're just going to write the Coyotes off and say, oh, yeah, it's over. Yes, this is a huge blow. I'm not going to deny that. And I'm not going to deny that it is over, that it isn't over either, um, because there are still a lot of options that the Coyotes could go to. Now, are they as ideal as Tempe? No. Uh, but there's still some ideal options because really what Arizona was going for here was because was because Tempe was right near Phoenix. Uh, if they attracted enough um, attention and as well as that too, especially if they, you know, they had a good team, which it was looking like they were going to. Uh, they were trending in that direction. They have been for a while. I'm, I keep openly saying that. Um, then yes, I, I believe they really could have uh, drawn in a lot of attention, made a ton of revenue for the city. Um, and they very well could have won this too. Uh, because the city council unanimously voted seven nothing on this, seven nothing, and, and that's insane. We've never we haven't seen that in any NHL like team or arena discussion in a long time. There's always been someone that's been against it, but no, every single council member was all for this idea. Um, and then when it came to the campaign of getting the people to vote, Coyotes didn't do enough. Uh, they simply didn't. Um, they put two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Uh, towards their voting yes campaign, including putting executives um, going door to door to help support the campaign. And as well as that too, uh, the opposing side, aka the people who said no, put two million towards it. Um, and honestly, I can't think of a suitable reason why anybody would want to say no besides people who didn't know the facts um, outright. I, I can't think of anybody who who would even be against this idea because it wasn't taking away taxpaying dollars. It wasn't. If it was, then there was that argument 100%. Um, there isn't any other issues that I can really think of. You're building on top of a landfill. The only other problem that I could really think of was that, you know, of course, the owner of our team, um, Alex Morello, um, has a history with gambling and casino casinos. And yes, that is the only justifiable take that I could have with this arena plan. Saying that, oh, Morello has a history of gambling and all this and that, and that will bring bad things to our city. Yeah, that's an argument. But everything else is dumb. Um, because, and from what I've seen on Twitter and just going through social media and what people have told me, um, and it's 100% um, the, the voters that voted no uh, definitely lied to most of the people uh, that said, um, or that replied that voted. So, and most of the people that voted no were all above 65 years old. So, and I've seen these comments saying, oh, you're 65, you're going to die soon anyways, what does it matter? Uh, that's not cool. You, you, Coyotes fans, you got to hold yourself to a higher standard. Um, I was susceptible to that, but you got to hold yourself to a higher standard, um, 100%, uh, because there isn't a lot of us, A. Eh? Um, but, yeah, so, Clayton Keller, too, and this is another situation that I'm really worried about. Clayton Keller's father uh, came out on Twitter saying that, that Keller will not play for the Coyotes to start the season, and that is a huge blow. Uh, that is a ju I cannot even ex exemplify how big of a blow that is. Mainly because one of the main reasons, I'm not going to say the main reason, one of the main reasons why I'm even invested in the Coyotes is solely Clayton Keller. I have a Clayton Keller jersey. Uh, I watched him score his first ever National Hockey League goal live. Um, and yeah, like I, him being gone too, especially with the season that he just had with us, is is going to be brutal. And especially too, if he, if, I mean, it is his father, and that's that's what I'm going to say. It is his father, and Keller could have a whole different opinion, but his father had said that, and I think his father is a close enough person to him that we could probably believe that it is going to happen. Um, but the only question that I have is, are we going to trade him now? Is the decision that we're going to trade him? Now, that's kind of a, a discussion for another time, mainly because I want to focus on the Coyotes Arena plan. And, yes, it was rejected. It was unanimously rejected, and it really sucks. Um, because that had a lot of potential, but the Coyotes just didn't do what they needed to do. Uh, they didn't spend enough money, and it just keeps going back to that. Um, not spending enough money. Uh, and there's been, and I honestly, and as a Coyotes fan, I feel so much sympathy for the other Coyotes fans. I'm not like 
some people call me a fake one. I don't know how you can call me a fake one when they're when they're terrible. Um, but to the real uh, Coyotes fans out there, I'm not saying you guys aren't real, but I feel bad for y'all. I really do. For those who live in Arizona, I really do feel bad for you because there is a growth. There really is, and I know there. I know it's been taking you a lot of time for this team to develop, for this team to be good. Uh, and it seems like they've faced problems since they first got into the NHL uh, with the John Chaka stuff. Um, the stuff about, you know, ASU and, you know, all the Glendale, you know, like the low attendance for years and just being a bad team altogether. The numerous coaches, GMs, and owners we've gone through. It feels like that this team has not really had a fair shot. Um, and I, I honestly do really feel bad for them. I really do. Uh, and I, I it, it's heartbreaking, too, because i gotten people ask me, you know, kind of people DM me saying, are you going to root for this team if they move to Houston or if they move to Salt Lake City or if they move to Kansas City? I have seen, and I'm not going to say my official answer because honestly, I I wouldn't believe it's real. Um, I won't believe it's real until I see it be real. Um, get it be real. But um, like my what I've seen is seeing people say that they wouldn't root for the team, and that sucks too. Because as I was going to go to, there is a growing development program there in. In Arizona, you got the junior, the junior Coyotes. You have a girls program that attracts over 300 hockey players, uh, and they play internationally too. So it's not like something that you could just easily lose and be like, "Oh yeah, it's fine." That's huge. Uh, that will kill hockey in Arizona, uh, especially if that if that career or if that path is is gone, if that club is gone. Uh, that is not good. Uh, and if the Coyotes do relocate, it is a like domino effect uh, that keeps continuously falling. Um, and multiple things that, you know, the Coyotes like have helped grown or even support, uh, will probably diminish, which, which really stinks. Cause there are some good, there are some good programs down there in Arizona that really are helping out with this, with this team and with this city. Um, but it just, it just really sucks that, you know, this arena plan didn't go through. Now there are other options. As I was going to say, there are plenty of other options that they could go to. Now I'm not, I don't live in Arizona, so of course I'm not going to know everywhere, uh, but there's definitely more than one option, and they do have some backup. Ba they do supposedly may have some backup plans, even though um, Xavier went on to, or whatever the guy's, the CEO's last name is, uh, went on to, you know, it was looking like he was sh visibly um, shook uh, after, you know, the voting was no. Um, and I got to be honest with you, um, that really did hurt to see, and it really makes me kind of worried. And as well as that too, it was announced today that they will be playing a mullet next year. So they are going to be they are going to be a team next season, um, and probably will be until uh, 24, 25, or actually no, twenty five, twenty six potentially, uh, mainly because of that contract they have with mullet. I think they're going to ride this as long as they can. The NHL is not going to give up. Simply, uh, and this is what Elliot Freeman said. It isn't me just saying that. They've said that Arizona is too big of a hockey market to give up. And I do think it really is. Glendale didn't work out because of the attendance. Um, you look at, like, previous years, like, bat, way back when they were in Phoenix, um, even, like, Phoenix was like, yeah. Um, like, they, they attracted a lot, especially when they were new and when they were actually good. Uh, they attracted a lot of fans and a good and a really solid fan base. Um, and it just, like, since 2012, it just hasn't been anything. It's been 11 years of just pain. And that's probably... And that is a good reason why they aren't very good. And you look at the Thrashers, too, that was also the reason why. But the other reason why for the Thrashers is very similar to the Coyotes because the Thrashers didn't have an arena, and they relocated, and the Coyotes don't have an arena, and they may relocate. So there is a lot to look into there. Uh, but going back to the options, um, there's Salt Lake River, apparently. I didn't know that was a place. Or Salt River, something like that. Uh, that is an option. Uh, there's a um, Valley Resort, I believe, that was also an option. Now, I've seen there. I've seen. I have nothing. I have not seen anything concrete on this, but there is apparently a rumor that the Suns owner is interested in buying the team and um, putting them in the Suns arena, which would be perfect because that would put you back in Phoenix, uh, and I think that would definitely attract more more fans, one hundred percent. And as well as that too, Tempe's right there, and they can realize how dumb they were. Um, <laughs> but like that is an option too. Um, there's plenty of desert there too, that they could just build an arena on. Um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, hell, why not build your own city around it? Um, they, they can't do that, but I mean, you know, there, there is plenty of other options. There's Scottsdale, Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, but then there's relocation. And I think the NHL is going to go through all of those plans. If every single one of them is like, no, we don't want a hockey team here. Then I do think that they will relocate. Um, apparently the NHL though is open to relocation talks now. Um, so I 
there's probably um I don't know. There's probably a 60% chance they pa probably do relocate and that kind of hurts a 40% chance they don't. I I I've seen Coyotes fans and local people in the media say that oh yeah, they're going to stay. Uh, and apparently there is another path to keeping them in Arizona that um uh Craig Morgan has not like specifically um specified uh which I would imagine we're going to hear about that in the coming weeks and not months either. This isn't going to be dragged out like the Tampa thing was. Like the Tampa proposal was announced literally a year ago. Um, and it's just taking them up till now to do the vote. Um, it's not going to be dragged out that long. We're going to find out probably by the end of June, maybe even by like, pr- or sorry, probably the end of either like July or sorry, the middle of July and maybe even like middle of June. Uh, we'll know what's going on, but I don't expect to know anything for probably about a month. We're going to hear rumors mostly, um, probably a lot surrounding Clayton, Clayton Keller now. Um, uh, but yeah, I do think the relocation is possible. And going back to my question, would I root for a team if they relocated? The answer is, and I think this is different for me because I don't live in Arizona. If I lived in Arizona, my answer would probably be, diff- probably be different. I'm going to say yes, but not at the level that I root for the Coyotes. Definitely not. Yeah, it's the same players. Yeah, it's the same management, but it just won't feel the same. Uh, because honestly, one of the reasons why that I started rooting for this team altogether was because they were a small market. And I wanted to see this small market succeed. And I thought, hey, Arizona Coyotes, that's a cool name. That is a really cool name, and their jerseys are nice. I don't have a Kachina yet, but I do want to get one, um, and I will get one if they move, if before they move. Um, so, yeah, there, there's a lot, um, and there's a lot that I haven't covered in this video. I'm going to rewatch this video and think to myself, oh, yeah, why didn't I talk about that? But I'm still going to hold out hope. It isn't over, and the last thing I want to talk about is, like, what potential cities it could go to. Now, it's not going to go to Quebec. They're not going to go back. They're not going to any East team because I don't think any East team would want to move to the West unless if we expanded, with, unless if we just expanded. Um, and I can't really see the NHL doing that. Um, I mean, there is, there have been rumors, and this is kind of what ties in to the Coyotes. There have been rumors. Of course, there's been Houston rumors for years. Uh, there's Atlanta rumors sparking up again. There's all, Quebec's always been there. Uh, Saskatoon, I've mentioned before. Kansas City, Salt Lake City. The only possible ones I could really see are ones that are in the U.S. and they're in the same general area as Arizona. Like I'm talking Utah, Houston, um, Salt Lake City, um, Kansas City. Those are the only few realistic ones that I could see. Maybe Saskatoon if they could pull together the right amount of money. Uh, but I would imagine that they're going to go to a team that is in the central area of Arizona because, or else they're going to have to mix up the, the, the divisions again. And I don't think any team... Uh, definitely not any team from the East is going to be okay with moving, uh, whether it's Columbus or like Tampa Bay or even like Detroit. Uh, they're not going to be okay with moving. Uh, Detroit kicked and screamed uh, when they got moved over to the when they almost got moved over to, move over, moved over to the West. So, and and the thing is too, and that's another thing as well. I keep I keep going and making this video go even longer and longer. But the thing is too, people don't realize is that like you put a team in Quebec, yeah, but you're going to have e- uneven numbers in like each division and then be like, Oh, you move Detroit to the central. There'll be a different times. They'll be, they're in a different time zone. Like let's say you're going to play Dallas. That's in a different time zone than Detroit. So that, that is the logic that I have about behind it. And honestly, to wrap this video up, I am optimistic. I'm very optimistic about what's going to happen with Arizona. Are they going to move? I sure hope not. Um, but honestly, even if they do move, I will still cover this team every step of the way on this YouTube channel. Uh, even if it pains me to, but that probably will mean the end of our Coyotes playlist, but sucks. But anyways, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, thank y'all very much for watching Fry Sports. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe down below if you are new. And uh, yeah, we haven't made too many videos today. Uh, I plan on making the series preview for uh, Dallas versus Vegas tomorrow. And then the 2023 reviews will uh, start up again as well. And then prospect previews and all that good stuff uh, will continue. I don't know about going live for a while. I'm kind of busy, but anyways, thank y'all for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.